So by the end of this video, you'll be able to write the equation of a line and apply it to a real world situation. This is all about writing the equation of a line. So uh, back in Algebra 1, you have to remember that we write equations of lines in the form of y equals mx plus b. So that's the first thing I want you guys to write down, is y equals mx plus b. So uh, m is always the slope. It's also, also known as the rate. Okay. Uh, and b is our uh, y-intercept. Okay. So in this question, write an equation in the slope form line of the slope is negative 2, uh, y intercept is 4. The slope is already given to us. It's negative 2. Our y intercept or our b is 4. So I'm just going to write y equals negative 2 x plus 4 because our m is negative 2 and our b is 4. So negative 2x plus 4. And I'm done. That's it. The next equation uses a point and a slope. Okay, so the slope's given to us. It's negative three fourths. So I'm going to write that, and I'm going to put that in the m slot. So that's a uh, negative three fourths x plus b. So now I have to solve for b. All right, uh, that's my unknown. I'm going to use that point for it. Okay, eight one is x comma y. So I'm going to take the 8, okay, the x value, and I'm going to put it in for x. I'm going to take the y, the 1, and I'm going to put it in for y. So I'm going to rewrite the equation. Okay, 1 equals negative 3 fourths times 8 plus b. So that b is the only variable left. Now a lot of people have trouble uh, multiplying fractions, so I'm going to show you a little trick. Do 8 times negative 3. Negative 24. Then that's going to be divided by 4. I don't do anything with the denominator. Now I can just do the division. Negative 24 over 4 is 6. Add 6 to both sides. And b equals 7. So now I have m and I have b. I have to rewrite the equation. So the equation is y equals negative three-fourths x plus seven. And now I'm done. Okay. Um, the trick comes when we have a graph in these. Okay. So the trick is slope intercept y equals mx plus b. And we're going to look for uh, the equation of line b. So that's this one right here. Uh, first step is always to find my slope. So when I'm given a graph, okay, I had to do rise over run. So I'm going to choose two points. The two are labeled. I'm just going to count down and then over. So it's negative 3 over 3, which reduces down to negative 1. Now I have to find my B which is my y-intercept. And the y-intercept can always be found on the y-axis. So the y-axis is the vertical axis, okay? And it's where the line crosses it, okay? So I just count down, okay? And that is negative 5. So uh, the equation to the line is y equals negative 1x minus 5, okay? I can do the same thing for uh, 9, which is for C, okay? Uh, and it, it just changes the line, okay? Again, I have to two, choose two points, okay? The y-intercept is a good one, and then I find another one, and then I just do the slope, okay? Down 1 over 3, so that's negative 1 third. I find the B, which is on the y-axis again, Okay, that vertical axis right there, and uh, it's where it crosses. So uh, my b is going to be a 4, so I just write the equation, negative 1 third, x plus 4. The uh, 10 and 11 deal with parallel and perpendicular. 
Remember, every time you hear the word parallel means the same. Okay, same slope. So we have to remember back to what our equation is for line B. So that's negative 1x minus 5. So my slope is negative 1. Okay, so I'm going to plot the point that they give me. 3, negative 2, okay, is again over 3, down 2, okay, and then I'm going to use the slope, and I'm just going to continue it, okay, until I can draw that line, and then I'm going to see, and hopefully your line is a little bit straighter than mine, where it crosses the y-axis, so it's at uh, 1, so I'm going to write the equation, y equals negative x plus 1. Okay, the one comes from the y-intercept right there. For 10, or for 11, I have to remember perpendicular. Perpendicular slopes, opposite reciprocals. Okay, opposite changes the sign, reciprocals flips it. Okay, so again, I deal with line C. So the equation for line C was y equals negative one-third x plus four. So the slope is negative one-third. So then I flip it and I change the sign. So three over one. And then I follow the same steps. Plot the point, negative two, four, and then I go up three over one. Up three over one until I can draw that line. And then uh, I can write the equation. Y equals three over one or three X uh, plus two. Or plus three, sorry. Two. Two. I'm an idiot. Okay. This is where we're going to apply this. Okay. So this is a word problem. Okay. Um, and we have to highlight the, the specific numbers. So it's $55 per month and $45 per hour. Okay. Uh, the equation is asking you for the total cost, or C, so we're looking for C equals, okay? And it's talking about H hours, okay? So H hours, that's the $45 per hour. So that's my rate, okay? Rate, otherwise known as slope. So that's my M. So my M is 45. I'm going to put an H instead of an X, okay? But no matter what, I always get charged as $55, Okay? So that's my B, that's my beginning um, starting point, okay? No matter what, without them working on anything, I have to pay $55. So that's my, where my B comes in, okay? I've written the equation. Now I have to go on to part B, okay? Where they give me another equation. And it's a different fixed fee and it's a different rate per hour. Okay, so they give me C equals 25H plus 125. Okay, so there's two equations out there. And they ask us, which one's going to be better for five and a half hours? So I split it, okay? I'm going to call the first one plan A. And I'm going to call the second one plan B. That five and a half hours, hours is my X. So all I'm going to do is take that and I'm going to plug that five and a half or 5.5 into each equation. Okay. And then I'm going to see which one's better. So I multiply first. Okay. And then I'm going to add the 55. And I get that the plan is going to cost three hundred and two fifty. Okay, so that's how much plan A costs. Okay, plan B is a little bit different. Okay, so again, C equals twenty five times the five point five plus one hundred and twenty five now. Okay. 25 times 5.5, and then I add 125 to it. So 
Sorry, my pen wasn't working there. So I get $262.50. So Donna actually would make more money with plan A because I make more money that way. All right. Plan B, I lose about $50. So I don't want to lose money at all. Okay, so plan A would make the most money for Donna. It's a lower starting cost, but it's a higher per hour fee. So that's why that works. The, the per hour is better. So now you can uh, start working on your practice uh, and then make sure you are uh, checking your answers. Okay, checking your answers is key because I don't want you to make mistakes on this. I want you to do well on this stuff. So uh, email me or um, direct message me on Edmodo, and I'll be able to help out. All right. Thank you.